Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is Mail Call Time from Chris Reeve Knives. After a grueling 14 month wait, to be exact, close to 15 month wait, it is finally here. This is my order from Chris Reeve Knives. This is a Sebenza 31 small with black micarta inlays as well as a dual luck thumb stud. And just to put it out there, I did not pay for this beforehand. Like as in, I placed an order 14 months ago and the told me about the whole ordering process and they only charged me once the knife was ready to be shipped out. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear to everyone. That it was still a wait for me because, you know, I was waiting in anticipation to the point that I was starting to kind of get a bit tired of waiting and then the hype started to die out. But it's finally here anyway. And I just wanted to get my first impressions on camera and record it down because so many times I've heard people saying things like, you know, when you get a CRK Sabenza, it is the one knife that you will ever need for the rest of your life. It is the one knife to end all other knives kind of thing. Like I never really felt the want to pull the trigger to get myself a Chris Reeve. So yeah, I mean, I've always heard good things about the Sabenza, but then when the Sabenza 31 came out, I was like, well, it looks like this is kind of calling out to me because it's improved on the 21, which has been around for 21 years. It's got some features from the 25. And I thought, you know, I've already been collecting knives for a few years now. And my tastes have been, I guess, more and more refined as I progress in this journey of knife collecting or knife exploration I should say so I thought you know there could possibly not be a better time to try one of these and so yeah I pulled the trigger on this I think like September last year or maybe it was August I can't remember and so it's finally here I want to unbox it get my first impressions down and see whether or not it was worth the wait this is not going to be just the only video about the Sabenza 31 because I know for a fact that I'm going to have to put this on my EDC like, I really want to put this on my EDC for an extended period of time a minimal amount of at least a month before I really give you guys my thoughts and I guess a review of the small Sabenza 31 but yeah you know right now let's just open this up and it's in a really really big box the box itself is quite big, uh, quite large for a small folding pocket knife. I actually want to share this with you guys as well. I bought myself one of the Hawk clips, the Hawk pocket clips. And this was actually from quite some time ago. And yeah, the box is way too big to be opened up in frame on camera. So I'm going to have to do some parts of it out of frame and I hope that you guys don't mind. So here we go anyway. I'm unable to give you guys a visual right now, but maybe you could hear how much packing paper there is in this thing. Uh, yeah, so it's two really thick layers of packing paper and there is a smaller box in the package and the smaller box looks just like this. Put this elementum away now. So we have this very nice premium looking Chris Reeve knife box with that trademark dark blue. Uh, it's not the cleanest of printings, not the sharpest of printings. You could see a little bit of pixelation on the design of the logo and the text as well but looking at the box you know uh, on the side it says okay so here it says crucible cpm that's the blade steel and on the underneath is yep it's uh the label that says small zabenza 31 inlay black canvas micata drop point double lock that's exactly the orientation or the configuration that i ordered it in cpm s35 vn and 6 a l 4 v titanium there's nothing on the underneath of the box it's just that chris reeves blue and lifting up the lid, I'm first greeted with a card. I think you guys are all familiar with this thing over here. Uh, this is my first time, by the way, so this is just my impressions. I want to go through the whole unboxing experience. Got a Sabenza 31 card here. Assembly applies to all variations of the Sabenza. So yeah, that's cool. They actually give you an entire exploded diagram of the Sabenza 31 with all the parts listed out. That is cool. It even has a lanyard stated there as well. And on the flip side of this, some care notes. That's cool. Sharpen, cleaning, tightening, storing. Uh, and then there's some history of the company here on this slot holder and then this looks to be a coa or an order chip kind of october 29 2020 that's when it was finally finished i guess in terms of the build this is a guarantee card i suppose and then i've got a crk sticker or a decal it looks like a decal and this is a mail-in card this ah okay cool and then here on this side yep more of the company history which is quite cool what's this up let's check out what else is in here this is cool okay so the knife is here i'm going to put this aside i mean it definitely feels like the knife and all this is quite a dense yet fluffy feeling kind of foam i like it i like it, it feels like memory foam for some reason and then we've got this little packet here with some tools this is awesome so it's a hex driver tool that is interesting from experience most knives if they were to include a tool in the knife purchase generally it is a torx screwdriver 
but yep not this and then it's got some loctite there and then we have some grease fluorinated grease pretty sweet to have that all included in this package close up the box again and let's check this out right here so it seems to be a very nice felt Feltish kind of cleaning cloth, like a microfiber almost, with uh, the CRK logo embossed in there or kind of just marked out in there. I'm unraveling it. Well, this is the size of a handkerchief now. This is one of the biggest cleaning cloths that I've received in a knife purchase. And here we go. Wow. Wow. That excitement is real. The excitement is real. Okay. Woo. Uh, guys, I, I, I don't know how to articulate what i'm feeling right now it is i guess a sense of awe a sense of satisfaction and a sense of uh like pride i guess like ownership i guess this is my sabenza 31 idaho made awesome blasted titanium so this is going to have a lot of snail trails for sure because i'm going to be using this throughout the one month period i'll be swapping the uh pocket clip out for this hawk pocket clip but yeah it's got the lanyard here as well i might remove that later i don't know but it's a free spinning swivel that's quite cool it does touch the tip of the blade though a little bit and then of course this lanyard portion also is stopped at this part of the scales or the handles and uh, i really love this design of the inlays on the 31 versus what was on the 21 do a luck thumb studs oh it's got a slightly rounded spine as well that's cool I mean, not on the side edges, but the top here is slightly rounded. Got some jimping up here. Got a bit of dirt on the blade itself. This is actually quite close to the scale. I feel like it is quite possible for me to accidentally slice myself. If I pushed my finger in hard enough and I got enough meat from my fingers going in between the scales and I rub it upwards, I think that the blade is close enough to the scales that I actually might slice myself. Am I able to get that on camera to show you guys? But let me just try and adjust the lights. There we go. So you can see the blade, the edge of the blade is right there. Super close. There we go. That's even better for you guys. Super close to the scales. That's a little bit scary. But of course, I, do, I don't think I'll be holding my knives this way much. But here we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to flick it open yet. Let me just try okay the detent is pretty good it's not gritty so that's a good thing and that lock was very authoritative lock up is like that it's like 50 percent i don't know if that's supposed to be the way it is but it is 50 percent after all chris reeve was the guy that invented the frame lock or the reeve integral lock the tip of the blade looks like it's very very close to the scales as well so yeah i, I don't think I will be poking myself though. Quite close, but not the closest. But yeah, um, this is very smooth, I must say. Oh, that recessed area here, this is nice. This is possibly one of the most generous recessed areas on a frame lock or liner lock for that matter that I've experienced so far. And it's very nicely designed, I have to say. This lockup sound is quite awesome. Um, you know, not the smoothest knife, definitely. And I'm well aware that Chris Reeve knives are not made to be like drop shutty or whatever. But yes, let's see if I can flick it open. Let's try. I've never tried this before. So, you know, first time on camera, I need to get this first impression down. I have my finger behind the thumb start. So let's see how this goes. Nope. Wow, that is tough. Okay, my goodness, guys. This is kind of tough. It is quite... Let's try it again. Ah, oh, I'm struggling. I am, I am honestly, okay, let's try it on the thumb side itself. Let's try it. Nope. Nope. Looks like I'm going to have to practice. I'm going to need more practice. Wait. Is this part is sticking out? I, I didn't, wait, I didn't realize that the blade was going to stick out here. Hmm. So there's a little bit of the blade sticking out there. That's interesting. Uh, maybe not the best. Let's see if I can use my middle finger. No, not yet. I'm trying my best not to even apply pressure on the lock bar. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is this. Yeah, it's gonna definitely gonna take some practice from me. I can get it that much. 
but at least it's not gritty. I guess it will take time because this thing needs to break in, but it feels very tight. It feels like um, my Zenita, you know, like that tightness, the way it moves, it feels like the Zenita. So uh, in that aspect, I have to say that right now, I'm not impressed because of all the other knives that I've handled so far in my life. You know, like all the other thumb stud knives and all that, um, like spidey flicking knives, non flipper tab knives, I should say. This is definitely like, you can feel that it's super tight. You can definitely feel it, but it is not gritty. It is smooth, but not like drop shutty, loose kind of smooth. It is just, yeah. Uh, so I see there is that D10 ball on the side there. That's really cool. See the D10 ball there? Yep, that's ported over. Uh, from the uh, Sebenza 25, I believe. But then again, guys, this is not running on bearings, so of course, you know, can't expect it to be super drop shotty. I do see a bit of what looks to be lubricant in here. See that whitish thing? So yeah, guys, uh... Okay, definitely gonna need some time to break this thing in. The thumb studs are surprisingly comfortable. They're not sharp. Because I've heard a lot of horror stories about people saying that the thumb studs on Sebenzas are the worst. They are very nicely rounded. You could see that there are steps, but every step is nicely rounded and chamfered. And the, I guess the highest point is actually a rounded spot. That's actually surprising to me. Yeah, I guess I need to practice handling this for a little while before I'm able to... Okay, let's see if I can do it sideways then. I'm, I'm really gripping it really hard. I think that's the reason why. I don't know how I'm supposed to grip it then. Let's try this way. Oh, I got it much better now. So it's at an angle, not so much up, but kind of like outwards. Let's see if I can get a good solid grip and then flick it open. Let's try it. Almost there. Almost there. It could be the way I'm, I'm handling it as well. I don't know. My body angle, I suppose. But in this position, it is quite comfortable uh, in terms of ergonomics. I'm getting a nice grip here. My thumb is nicely on the jimping. The jimping is a little bit sharp, but not the sharpest that I felt. Also not the smoothest, but yep. That is it, like, fingers sitting in that index finger slot right there. I don't think you're supposed to choke up much on this because of that area right there. There's not much space for you to do so, but this is quite comfortable, I have to say. Point of grip is quite good as well, I have to say. Like, this feels comfortable. I love the fact that my thumb naturally goes into this recessed area when I'm in the pointer grip. Possibly the most comfortable pointer grip on a knife that I've experienced so far. Got some markings on the uh, undersides of the scales as well. It says D20 on both sides. Don't know what that means, but yep, D20. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to give you guys a quick size comparison because I don't know if you guys are very really familiar with small Sebenzas, but this is a small Sebenza. I really didn't want something too large, you know? So first of all, I've got a Benchmade Grip Tillin or Mini Grip Tillin, I should add. Just very slightly longer than a Mini Grip. And then we have, of course, Spyderco Parrot 3. And it is shorter than a para 3 in terms of overall length. So it's, a, it's almost a perfect in between, between the para 3 and a mini grip. And I've got a couple more knives out and the reason why I have these knives is because it's mainly about the ergos of these knives. So I'm gonna leave the mini grip out here. And this is a primordial Mark 1. It is longer overall compared to the Sebenza Small 31. And last but not least, CRKT Pila and the Pila is of course the smallest out of all. So guys, like I mentioned again, uh, the reason why I have all these knives out is because these are, in my opinion, like one, two, three, four, these four knives are possibly the four with the best ergos for me, for my hands. So the Primordial, very comfortable in terms of the grip right here, like that. So for the standard grip, this is really, really good. So that's why I took it out because I wanted to compare it to the Sebenza 31 and I must say that the Sebenza 31 is also not bad uh, I guess in terms of impression wise the primordial feels a little bit more comfortable probably because of this area here so I can have my index finger and my middle finger sitting here and it kind of swoops like a large swoop here and then a secondary swoop for my fourth and pinky finger to hold on so that's that's the Ergos here on the Primordial Mark 1.1. And you guys see what I mean? Like this smoothness, this is the Wii Knife smoothness. I'm so used to this, right? So maybe because all my knives are kind of like in this style. So that's why I'm not able to really, quote unquote, fully appreciate the action on the Sebenza yet. I mean, I don't want to say that it is bad. It's something that I want to experience properly. 
So yeah, going back to this, yep, the ergos on this is not bad as well. Index finger sits very well, kind of wraps around this side of the lock bar with that, that extra detailed chamfer here and it goes all the way around to this recessed area. So index finger just kind of sits like that. That's very comfortable. And then this whole area is like flat. So your following three fingers can just wrap around very comfortably. So yeah, that's for the Sebenza. And then now on to the CRKT. Oh, what is this? Is this rust? No, it's not rust. Oops, that's some, that's some dirt. What the heck? Some dirt. How? Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, I guess I gotta sharpen this area of the pilar. But yes, pilar has good ergonomics as well. Um, whether you hold it this way or whether you choke up, choking up is the best feeling on the pilar because it fills out your entire hand and yeah, it's got a dedicated, kind of like a dedicated groove slot for your index finger and your middle finger. And then this part, this belly comes up here and just offers you some extra grip for the uh, remaining two fingers. And this is super comfortable. It's one of the reasons why I fell in love so hard with the Pila and uh, one of the reasons why it is still in my collection no matter what. This is good. This is comfortable. For a small size knife, this is this really feels big in hand. And uh, yeah, definitely, I, I'm just going to say right now, this feels more comfortable than holding a Sebenza 31 for me because of this thickness here on the scale. This is a lot more sleek. So I guess in a way, it's closer to the Primordial Mark 1 in that aspect. But yeah, CRKT Pila. Bit chunky in the hands and like it so now uh going ahead and just gripping onto my mini grip again so mini grip is one large soup area with a slight belly so the next finger goes here and the rest of the finger just wraps along the rest of the scale or the handle and yeah well the mini grip is not the most ergonomic but it's one of the more ergonomic ones in my collection at least so that's why it's out here and i will say that the Sebenza 31 feels more ergonomic than the Mini Grip. Yeah, definitely. Definitely feels more ergonomic than the Mini Grip. I think it's because partly due to the jimping here on the scales of the Mini Grip as well. It kind of, I guess in a way, kind of... Yeah, it kind of bites into your skin, right? Right there. Right there. Yeah. I mean, of course, this fills out your hand a little bit more than the Sebenza 31, but this is way more okay it's way more comfortable just the moment i just wrap my hand around it i know this is more comfortable than the mini grip till and last but not least my current favorite knife the para 3 i have to be fair this is not the official spider co scales i picked this because this is my favorite scales on the para 3 like it's my favorite scales on my favorite knife so arami scales are the uh kind of like skinny version of the scales where it doesn't have any belly instead it's a contour here it's got very nice contouring for your index finger as well to sit in there and overall it's thicker than a standard para 3 scale and that makes it a lot more comfortable and ergonomic to hold as well and on top of that there is a area that you can kind of choke up on so this to me is the ultimate in terms of edc knives and yeah just gripping it right now i'm just enjoying it it feels so good in hand this is this is my joy man because see my thumb just sits up there on the jimping area of the blade and all that this is perfect for me even when i choke up look ah uh, yeah so okay uh, no doubt about it this is still more ergonomic than the sabenza 31 at this point of time will things change after a month of use i don't know but definitely this is a lot thinner a lot thinner both in this thickness dimension as well as the overall height or the width of these scales so i have to say you know i need to be fair this is just a first impressions right now but i i, I dig i dig the para 3 still a lot more than uh, the sebenza 31 right now yeah my impressions of the sebenza 31 everyone small sebenza 31 by the way i need to spend time with this thing i need time to break it in i need time to really experience this so uh this is the end of my first impressions on the Sebenza 31 everyone there are some worrying or some points of concern i should say first once again i'm going to highlight it is how close the edge of the blade is to the scales or the top of the scales here and how close this tip is to the scales there i don't particularly like this lanyard here so i might just remove it i'm not too much of a fan of this right now i don't think i actually need that lanyard haven't tried the pocket clip but there is some flex here uh, a lot of people were saying that this is kind of tight. I don't know how tight it's going to be because right now you could see that the inlay is 
raised so the inlay being raised with the pocket clip being lower than the inlay itself i don't know how that's going to bode in my pocket so i won't know till i try and then i'm going to like i said i want to spend a month with this at least so for half of that one month so two weeks i'm going to have this particular pocket clip on and then for the next two weeks it's going to be the hawk pocket clip and if you guys are wondering why i got this in the first place it's because well i was excited for this i was really really excited and i didn't know how long the full wait time was going to be initially i thought it was going to be like a like a i think it was a four month wait and then i bought this along with a crk t-shirt like one of those uh chris reeve carhartt crossover t-shirts that think twice cut once kind of t-shirts yeah i like that pocket tee it's really cool and it's in that cool chris reeve blue so i'm going to be putting that on for another two weeks as well but right now i must say that the overall build quality of this is quite awesome uh, i know i didn't really talk much about it because well i don't want to waste your time i'm sure that you guys have seen multiple chris reeves avenza videos out there on the internet and i don't want to add to one of those typical ones but this really is just my first impressions still need time to break this in though yeah by opening it this way the the way it was initially meant to be and not flicking it open this is completely fine once you get the orientation down or once you get used to it how you're supposed to open it it's going to be completely fine most of the time when i open up thumb stud knives i open it up in a kind of like a diagonal direction like from here to here or an upward motion but for this i have to really push it out and rotate it around in a circle that's when this thing just comes out really easily yeah oh i just felt this part of the blade touch my next finger when i was holding in this orientation see that yeah uh, i don't think it's gonna pinch me anytime soon because this is really nicely rounded like see it's really really rounded here so I don't think that's going to be a point of concern. It's just that I have to get used to the fact that I might feel that part of the blade touching my index finger as I open it up. But that snap open is really authoritative. I like it. And uh, yeah, really interesting detent system. Or I should say the interface system for the lock bar. So it's not like, you know, it's not titanium interfacing with the steel of the blade. And it's not a lock bar insert, but it is a ceramic ball bearing. Really interesting. But uh, yeah, fit and finish is quite good. That's how it kind of sucks the blade in. Let me just do that again really slowly for you guys. Yep, just get sucked in like that. And that is it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life so if you like the content that i'm putting out and you want to see more content like this please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do subscribe make sure that you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that i put out also i run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out we do have patreon exclusive content and we also run patreon exclusive giveaways from time to time so if you become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance it really means a lot to me and it definitely helps the channel out a lot more than what youtube does once again everyone my first impressions on the Chris Reeve Sabenza 31. Please give me some time to spend with this beautiful piece here and then really experience it, get my thoughts down, record it down, edit it, all that good stuff, and then I'll be sharing that with you guys. So stay tuned for that, hopefully before the end of the year. Maybe it could be like the very last video of this year, I don't know. That might actually round the year off for the channel in a pretty awesome way. I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then everyone, gaga boost.